Okay, well, good morning. <clears throat> and um, as you can see, I got two screens going here. Having a cup of coffee this morning. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, you can see I've already copied down uh, in section 1.3. This is actually number six from last night's assignment. And to give us an idea of what in the world is going on with these transformations and how we can evaluate. Um, and so, all right, I'll get it off. My hope you guys are doing well. Hope the, everything's safe. No one's sick from COVID. Please, please be aware. Okay, so let me get it off of this dual screen. All right, let's enlarge this. Let's come in just a little bit. Okay, so here's number six. Now, just some of the terminology, this is the original picture. I'm going to graph that here in just a second. And then this is the uh, prime triangle, what they call it. So this is the pre-image, this is the image. And so this is kind of like J prime, K prime, L prime. That's what the little apostrophe up here means. Okay, so it's, it's what it is mapped to or what it becomes. Okay, and so, you know, let's take a look at this on a graph. If we were to coordinate these two pictures on the same graph. I'm just gonna do it. I know you've got a graph, which is kind of nice. Actually, they show you the graph, but I'm not showing you that, so I'm gonna do it fairly quickly. J is zero, three, one, two, three. Uh, K is four, three, so one, two, three, four. So it goes straight across. Four, three, that's K, that's J. Two is, two, or L is two, one, so we'll go there. So, right there. Okay, so L. All right, so now let's let's uh, map their prime vertices, the ones that they're mapped to. Negative three, zero. So negative three, one, two, three. That's J prime. Negative three, negative four, one, two, three, four. Negative three, negative four. That's K prime. And then negative one, negative two. Okay, so that's L prime. That's a rough sketch. Okay, so what's happened here? Well, you could look at this as, you know, a couple different ways. But if you're trying to find, here's what I would recommend, is you're trying to find the mapping, the coordinate notation, the mapping rule. Identify the transformation and confirm that it preserves length and angle. Okay, so it went from here, went from to here, and it kind of looks like to me this is a reflection across that line. So like L went from here to there, K went from here to here, and J went from there to there. So across the y equals negative x. All right, so that means that what happened to the, the x, y is our original, and then it maps, what's the pattern? The, the y becomes the x, so the y becomes the x, and it becomes negative. And the x becomes the y, and it stays positive. And that's the rule. And this rule, let's make sure that's true because zero, we're not quite sure. So let's take a look at this one. Let's just make sure. Okay, so the uh, X becomes the Y. There we go. And the, uh, oh, it's negative. Ah, so that's negative too. See, so if you look, that's a, that's a positive four and it becomes a Y and that's a negative four. So they're both negative. Okay, so negative and we flip them, that's a, that's a reflection across the y equals negative x. That's number six. Let's take a look at number five. Maybe that's not real, real clear. Let's take a look at number five. Same idea, we've got a B and C, we got negative four. I'm not done with number six, but I want to look at that a little bit more. Negative four and four. Negative one and two. And negative four and one. And that 
maps to four and four. Okay, hmm, interesting. Two and one, okay. And then one and four. All right, so what happened here? Well, you know, the A is kind of confusing because they're both the same term, you know, number, number four. So if we go negative one, all right, so let's say we get x, y. So what happens? x becomes the y, but looks to me it becomes the negative. And that the y becomes the x, but it stays the same. Let's see if that rule works for all of them. x, which is here, so it'd be like this if I were going to put it underneath it. And then what's the new one? Where did negative four go? It became negative, it was the opposite sign. So negative x there, and the y becomes the x. Okay, so yes, that is the mapping. Now what happens to, what, what does this mean? Um, this is a rotation. If you look at the graph, this is a rotation. 90 degrees. We'll work more on that. Don't, don't worry about that. All right, so one of the last things it wanted us to do was confirm it preserves length and angle. Well, angle is a little harder unless you've got a protractor, but we can definitely do length. So what we have to do is find the distance, let's say, of JK. JK, we know, goes from... Uh, 0, 4 to 4, 3, which means it is 4 units long. Okay, then what about J prime to K prime? That is also 4 units long. All right, so we're good on that one. What about the other two? Can we can we determine for sure that, it's, that they're equal? Well, um, to find the distance from J to L, you have to use the distance formula. So let's do that. Let's go JL, distance formula, from J to L. We've got the square root of, we have the dis difference of the x coordinates, 0 minus 2, quantity squared, and the difference of the y coordinates, 3 minus 1, quantity squared. So this is going to be 4 plus 4, or the square root of 8. 2 squared, 2 squared. Okay, so that's J L. Let's see if J prime L prime works. So now I'm going to go from negative three to negative one. Negative three to minus a negative one. And then I'm going to go from zero to negative two. Zero minus a negative two. Hopefully you guys can see that, okay? Yeah, negative 3 minus negative 1 is negative 2 squared, which is 4. 4 plus 4 square root. That's the square root of 8 again. We have it. We have that it preserves length. So once we have shown, shown that two of the sides, the third side has to. Okay. And I'm not worried about the angle measure. Unless you have a protractor, you can go into your book and do that. Okay, so that's 5. We didn't do number 5, the length, but it's the same, same idea. Um, as before. Okay, so um, let's see. To finish off uh, the, the assignment, what do we do? One through six, I think. Okay, here are the ones I want you to add to that. I want you to do number eight, number ten, number eleven. Number 14 and 15. That's it. So it's basically the assignment is just an extension of before. So we always start on the first page of the assignment and our label. Make sure you label this. And uh, this this will be that'll be it for um, this section. Now we'll we'll turn this in tomorrow. Night, Wednesday night, Wednesday at midnight.
Wednesday at midnight. Okay. So tomorrow, uh, send me your questions today. Tomorrow, then I'll I'll hit some of the questions that I have if I can't answer them on email. Part of what we do like this right here, um, we'll hit tomorrow in in, in our quasi lesson. So okay. That's it. Let me uh, save this, get it loaded to Canvas, and just reach out to me if you have any questions. Hope you guys are doing well. Take care.